So the real reason why I switched over from Squarespace is because Squarespace served me well, but I'm ready to have a different level of a website. Hey guys, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel for another video. So today we're going to be talking about from the title. Why did I just clap that loud? <laughs> talking about from the title of this video which e-commerce platform should you use so we're gonna be talking about Shopify Squarespace and Wix and I have experience with all three of them so this is gonna be my honest review my honest opinion um, of which ones I prefer which one I use now um, and which one you should use maybe for your business so let me just start by saying um, this can be for boutique owners e-commerce store owners just an online business owner whatever your category is whatever you got going on you can use one of these platforms um, just to give you more information a e-commerce platform is just a platform where it's pretty much a build a website factory kind of like build a bear but it's like a build a website factory and everything is pretty much done for you so your cart is there people can check out and submit payment there you can receive payments there um you can upload your um, products yourself you can kind of like customize your website with provided templates and so all of these platforms provide templates for you they have their own special like um payment gateway in a sense you can also link up your paypal your stripe and your other forms of payment but it's pretty much good i love all e-commerce platforms i like them all to be honest but i like them all for different reasons okay so let's start off with the one that i started off with so from the jump you guys what i did i actually so I started off with Squarespace, but let me kind of give you some background because I didn't just pick Squarespace because I wanted to pick Squarespace, right? So actually I was on YouTube watching videos and a lot of influencers were marketing or promoting Squarespace. So I kind of got the idea in my mind to use Squarespace one day, but also if you know, like I know, Shopify is very, uh, very popular and it pretty much has always been popular. I think because it's like the first one, it was the first e-commerce platform, right? So. I was like, well, should I use Squarespace? Should I use Shopify? I was actually sold on using Shopify just because of I heard so much about it, right? It seems the most legit, um, but I still wasn't sure. So I always tell my coaching clients, and I'm going to tell you guys the same thing. When you're trying to pick a e-commerce platform, they all offer... 14 day trials, two week free trials, right? So I recommend signing up for all the free trials for all of them at the same time. Sign up for all the free trials and whichever one you can build your ideal website on or get really, really close to building your ideal website on in those two weeks, that's the one you go with and it's that simple. And I did that. So I, I really, really in my heart of hearts wanted to use Shopify because it was popular and all of that. But I told myself, Natalie, you got a 14 day free trial, sis. You need to build this website in those 14 days and decide which one you're going to keep. And I did that. And you guys, I could not figure out Shopify. <laughs> For the life of me, I could not figure out Shopify. I use it now. Don't get me wrong. And we'll get into that later. But in the beginning, I could not figure it out. I could not figure out how to build my website and that alone stopped me in my tracks so that's why I went with Squarespace so Squarespace I absolutely adore it it's my first love I used it for the first 11 months of my business it served me beautifully um the first reason why I chose Squarespace is because they have pre-made templates so Shopify also has templates and so does Wix but the way that Squarespace does their templates is once you choose a template you have that template Azure website. That's nice because all I have to do is just go in and click delete on their picture and just drag in my picture. Click delete on their text and then drag in my text. It makes it so simple for beginners who are beginning to building websites because pretty much just drag and drop. Okay, drag and drop. Now, Wix is also drag and drop, right? But Wix has a lot of different customizing aspects to it that for me is too much in the beginning. For me, okay? For me. So I need it simplistic. I need it simple, easy, to the point. And Squarespace gave me just that, y'all. It was so easy to put together. So that's number one for Squarespace. That's like my favorite thing about that. But also the e-commerce side to it is beautiful very simple for me Squarespace is simplistic if you just want to get the job done and get it done right and efficient and cute and nice Squarespace is your friend another plus for Squarespace is if you want a, a business email like contact at truecostyles.com like to use your domain you probably want to use G Suite 
and I'll put that there. You want to use G Suite. So Squarespace is the only one out of all three that has a partnership with G Suite so that your first year you can use it for completely free. For the first year using Squarespace, G Suite is free. So Squarespace is amazing for that aspect. Okay, quick pause to the video, you guys. I gotta let you guys know what's coming up super soon. So did you guys know, shh, 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 did you guys know that I'm actually hosting a two-day online virtual boutique building event coming up super super soon in september listen you guys if you have not already gotten your tickets you need to get them right now they are selling out so fast okay it's going to be a two-day full day event where i teach you guys everything from building launching and making sales in your online boutique okay if you're wanting to get in there and get your business before black friday starts honey this is for you. Do not delay. Do not procrastinate. Listen, I'm going to be teaching you guys everything from building your online boutique, legally getting your paperwork done, how to brand your business, social media marketing, email marketing, building your Shopify website, building your email list. Okay. Also talking about how to manage your time, how to manage your finances, how to become a full-time entrepreneur. So teach you guys budgeting, finances, inventory, okay. Seasons, how to do discounts and sales and how to make the most sales in your business. So this is good if you have a business already or if you really really want to get started immediately you guys you will not believe the price of this click the link down below to get more information but can I tell you guys a little secret you want to be in VIP can I tell you why VIP first of all exclusive premium experience where you get one hour of free coaching from me privately one-on-one -on -one. you'll get a website audit when you launch you'll get a social media audit when you launch and after the event you'll be with me in a three-month mentorship for the rest of 2019 making sure that you don't just build your business but that you build a profitable business you don't just build a profitable business but you're making coins honey and you're actually exceeding okay and building a brand and an empire for your legacy so if you're ready to get started click the links down below you guys vip will sell out this week do not ask me after this week if you can get vip the answer will be i'm sorry it's gone get it while you can you guys the event is super soon i cannot wait to see you guys there and i will see you guys back in our video something that you want to pay attention to though is you guys can pick out your ideal template so what i recommend you guys do is before you even get to the building process of your website go and get pen and paper and i want you guys to do a very very rough draft of what your ideal website would look like so of course you know it's not going to be perfect you know i'm not an artist i don't know about you but it's not going to be perfect but i want you guys to draft out your ideal website what does your home page look like what does your shopping page look like do you have different shopping pages for different categories map that out because on all of these websites you can choose a template that template is customizable to an extent to an extent you really want to choose something that really matches your already pre-made idea for your website so you want to go into it with an idea so it is customizable but to an extent if you don't know how to do coding and all of that other mumbo-jumbo then you won't know how to edit your your um, website to the full extent. So you want to choose one that's already close to what you want. So the next thing is Shopify. Now I just sat here and said all these things about Shopify, but I use it now y'all and I love it. Okay. I, it does not steer me wrong now. I love it now, but y'all, it took me some time to try it out again because in the beginning, I don't know why it was so petrifying for me. It was really, really difficult for me. But once I had my Squarespace built up and I had experience building websites, Shopify was like, so easy for me right so something that I was able to do was I was able to transport or import my Squarespace store to my Shopify so maybe you're like some of my students who kind of want to go like the cheaper route and like the easier route with Squarespace and if you do that you're able to easily transport your website over to Shopify when you're ready so one weekend I just sat on my couch and said you know let me just try out Shopify I hear so much about it let me just try it out and literally within an hour I was able to transport everything all of my products and actually built my entire website in like an hour and it was done and I just have not gone back ever since I did not even intend to use Shopify for all this time I just wanted to try it out because some of my students wanted to learn about it and of course if I'm gonna teach them I have to know how to do it myself right so because of my students I went ahead and tried it out for myself and I absolutely love it um, I'm not going back but there are pros and cons to it right there are pros and cons so some of the cons is the price is kind of more expensive than the other options um, also I don't think it's that beginner friendly, but luckily if it's not beginner friendly, if you have troubles with it, they do have 
videos out now on YouTube and other places where you can get training for Shopify. Speaking of, if you guys want specific training on how to build your entire website from start to finish and how to get sales through Shopify, click out the link down below. I actually have an entire course where I put together Shopify. Um, it's an hour and a half video series and I'll show you step by step how to do it. Um, I would say check it out. It's actually on sale right now this week only. So check it out and I would say like dive in and get your feet wet if you really want to do Shopify. If you really want to do Shopify and you're a beginner I think you're gonna need some pre steps to help you out with that process because for me at least it was hard to figure out okay so check that out um, something that might be also hard and I think a con for Shopify is they have the App Store now you might think the App Store is cool they have all these different apps you can add but Honestly, Shopify's basic store, basic website, are, is missing some of the things that you actually need to run a boutique. Things that Squarespace already has figured out, right? Things that Squarespace already has put together, you have to actually get an app for that in Shopify. So, um, like for instance, to link up your MailChimp to get email marketing, you need apps for that. To do all of these fancy things, you need apps. And of course, it's not a hassle, I can just download the app. But if I didn't already have a boutique, I would not know what apps to add. So that can also be a disadvantage for beginners is you don't really know what apps to add to your store. Um, I'll leave a list below my favorite apps for Shopify. Check those out if you guys are interested. Um, I would mean, I only use the free apps because honey, I'm not paying extra to have something that I need for my store. So I only, only, only use the free apps because I ain't got time for the pay stuff, okay? Just being real, okay? Because I think that it should be included like it is in Squarespace. But I still love Shopify. It's amazing. They have amazing capabilities as an e-commerce platform. The analytics is crazy. They have so many in-depth reports to learn your customer's behavior, which like, like I said, is really important for branding and knowing your target audience. So here's my differences between Shopify and Squarespace. So if you really, really only solely want a boutique that's all you want to do then Shopify is a great option now for me I'm a coach I do consulting I have courses I do a lot of I have YouTube and I have my boutique so for me Squarespace is great to do all of that because they have different things like equity like the scheduling app um, you can do events and all these things you can set up on your Squarespace easily. And so it's really good if you want to have a bigger brand, if you want to do more, if you, if you want to have a service-based business, then Squarespace is ideal for that. I would say Squarespace all the way. But if you just want a boutique, then Shopify is great. So I'm not going to sit here and say I prefer this one over this one. I would say try them both out again, okay? Try them both out, see how you like them, and uh, whichever one you can do in a time time frame of two weeks under your free trial do that one stick with that one point blank period honey okay another pro for Shopify is like the shipping aspect honestly I can get an order I can go to my orders I can just click print shipping label and it's done like all from Shopify's interface with Squarespace you have to use a, a third-party app um, I used ShipStation which I absolutely loved um, and you can also use ShipStation in Shopify but you don't need to literally you can just print from your screen in Shopify you can just print from your orders page so that is another pro for Shopify that Squarespace does not have is that shipping capability I absolutely love it okay so there are other things that I love about Shopify if you guys have additional questions, leave them down below and check out my Shopify course. I think it will really be helpful for building your Shopify store if you guys are wanting to take that route and you are a beginner. Now the last one is Wix. So I've also made Wix websites. You guys, I make websites for clients. So I make websites on all platforms depending on what they need. Um, if a client just has a boutique, then I would make them a Shopify store. If a client has like a brand, a bigger brand, then I would make their website on Wix. So Wix is really, really good for customizing, for editing websites. I'll link right here the website that I made for Wix um, on Wix. I think it's great. They also have an e-commerce side of Wix that I personally have never used. So I will not actually recommend it. I'm not not recommending it. I just can't give full feedback on it because I've never used the e-commerce side of Wix. If you're someone who you have a Wix boutique, comment down below and let us know how do you like it? How do you enjoy it? What's your feedback on it? What do you like? What do you not like? And read the comments you guys and see if you guys can figure that out. But for Wix, I think it's great if you have an online business, but and you're and you don't really care that much about the e-commerce side if I can say that so for instance I'm myself building a website right now in Wix for natalienicole.com right for my own personal brand and I'm gonna have a shop link but it's gonna link to my 
Shopify store, right? I'm going to be using Wix and Shopify. So that's kind of how I'm going to be doing it for now because I really like how Shopify has the e-commerce side of things. They have they have it really down to a science. Um, it's just really, really easy once you have it figured out how to use. So I'm going to keep my Shopify store, but I'm also going to be building a Wix store for the purposes of like my bigger brand, um, just because I want more editing capabilities. So the real reason why I switched over from Squarespace is because Squarespace served me well, but I'm ready to have a different level of a website. So Squarespace, I use it mostly like for my coaching side of things, but I'm ready to go to the next level with my with my editing capabilities. And to do that, I need Wix. So because I need Wix, I don't think I need Wix and Squarespace. I also don't want to only use Wix, which is why I'm now using Wix and Shopify. Does that make sense? So I kind of have like a little love triangle here going on with all the platforms. I love Squarespace. If you're a beginner, I recommend it. I like Shopify. I love it. If you are a boutique owner, you want to go to the next level in your boutique, I recommend it. I love Wix. If you want to build a nice customizable website, I recommend it as well. So what you're going to have to do, listen, I'm sorry I can't give you a clear cut answer. I'm just giving you my advice and my experiences. What you're going to have to do is try them all out. Take a week, take a weekend, take a holiday, take a time, whenever you have time, try them all out and utilize the free trial time period. And whichever one, honey, you can get it down to a science, use that one. And you can always switch. You can always change. You can always make a different decision um, later on down the line like I did. Honey, change it up when you want to, okay? So that is my experiences, you guys. That is my true feedback. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you have additional questions, leave them down below. Maybe I can do a part two to this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Bye.